YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Cliff. Back with some gameplay. So we got, I've been, I know it's been a while. You know, we've been busy tournaments, clubs. We lost in clubs in the Bucks finals. But now we back. Got more time to really push this content. Mutt Headley, 16 of the best players in the world. You got YouTubers, pro players, content creators, etc. It's ran like a like an NFL season. You know, you got the regular season, you got divisions, playoffs, Super Bowl sort of thing with the championship. Really good, really good league. Really good league. This right here is a prime time game. So every week they do a prime three prime time games on Saturday. This happened to be one of them. Me versus Joe. You know, a great player. A great player. Belt winner. Without saying too much more, let's just get into this battle. You know me, bunch, Carolina. Offense, Dolphins on defense. We got Joe, Trips tight end, Oakland on offense. Let's get into it. You can see he's in this double A gap. Really trying to send heat. First place successful. Successful. You see me with Jay Herbert. Gunslinger on him. Uh, post up on my guard. Tight end apprentice. Playmaker. Route tech. That was my abilities on offense. See Cool man with the out route. The out route is a good route. It's a good route when you getting blitzed, man. Anything quick, anything quick, just to get the ball out your hands. You know, you gotta be real methodical, real methodical. Oh yeah, don't the scar right here. You see the scratches, y'all, from playing basketball. They got me looking like scar off Lion King out here, man. Right there, shade up, third and eleven. Throw the corner route, man. Throw the corner route. You gotta understand with double A gap. It's not the linebackers ain't really guarding nothing. They just there. They never gonna animate. So just be aware of that. Right here, I motion over. I motion over because I knew he was gonna blitz. I wanted to block more people. So that way I have time to throw this little beater. You know, the little things, picking up on his tendencies. All right, that's good coverage by him. Really good coverage. Good pocket by me though. Real good pocket. Step inside. Let the let him send this guy. Yeah, this this right here, y'all. Scar off line king. That's what basketball do to you. When they can't guard you. Chris Cooley checking it down. Taking through. You gotta understand who you playing, fellas. Understand who you playing. You know, right there, I understand I'm playing. Joke, you can't make mistakes first. Players like Joke who are really good defensively. Because now you make them comfortable on offense. Because they know they don't have to put up points. So right here, I'm just thinking, just get get any type of points. You never want to go down and get none. Especially not your first drive. It feel like you're losing when you go down and don't get any points. All right, you can see him in the trip side end, inside zone. Really good play for him. He throws the corner route. As you can see, I'm in 3-3-5 wide. I have double nothings and acrobats. That's it. That's it. That's the only village. Double nothing and acrobats. As you can see, I moved the safety over because primarily I play a lot of cover three, and you can get bombed in trips versus trip side ends in cover three. So I like to move that guy over a little bit just so he won't get bombed. Just so he won't get bombed. Right here, I'm expecting run. He don't run. I bait him crazy. Knock the route. Don't catch the pick, though. I don't catch the pick, though. Had me hot. Had me hot. All right, third and short. He in the I-form slot. You know, people try to run versus him. All right here, you see where I'm standing, right outside that end. I'm just going to run through, make a play myself. Sometimes you can't rely on somebody else. All right here, cover. Cover two shell, but what I had my flat zone was 20, and then I had my purple zone five. So real smart, you know, just double flatten. You know, that it's real hard to beat double flat if you don't expect it. You don't have nothing to threaten that. All right here, good defense by him. I had a touchdown, but, you know, man of 21, throw out of sacks happen a lot. So, not really getting cheated, just a bad mistake by me. You can see me moving my safety over. Go ahead and get right. And a good pass by him. That's that, that's that crosser. But, Troy Vincent, crazy break. Crazy break by him. Little inside zone, Sean Alexander. He's really good with that Washington State team. I have a Washington State Raiders team. Nice little post post hitch combo. That's a hard play to stop now. That is a hard play to stop. I will say that. Right here. Double nothings go crazy. 
Right here, I fake user rush him. Get him with the double and nothing shed. And Isaiah Simmons, man, 97 speed. I mean, if you ain't got Isaiah Simmons, you ain't got nothing. You need Isaiah, man. Crazy player. But I will say this. With, with they have made Acrobat 1 AP instead of, I mean, 2 AP on safeties now instead of 1. So you do need corners at safety instead of safeties. The only safety I use is Sean Taylor, and that's my user. I need Acrobat on my user. It makes it so much better. And you see, I'm in this wide all game pretty much. You know, just a little fake user rush setting up the user rush. You know, it's like boxing. Throw the jab and then come with the hook, the counters. You know what I'm saying? So that's all we're trying to do right here. Just make him work, make him uncomfortable, make him feel like he does not know what I'm going to adjust to every play. And just bend it but don't break. See, good defense right there. And just an amazing user. Amazing user, Sean Taylor. You know, we, we play major defense right now. Right here. Felt like it was cover two. He was doing it every time on first down. Unluckily for me, we got shutted. Right here, he shaded up. Good user by him. Good user. We do have that Herbert, though. That Herbert is kind of speedy. I believe he's like 91 speed. So, he is pretty speedy. Like I said, like I said, if they shade up, we're throwing it. <laughs> we're throwing it. That corner. Them linebackers will not guard anything. Right here, this is just amazing pocket. This is just, I mean, you might not see a better play than that all year. You might not see a better play than that all year. That's just, <coughs> all that is just being a ball player, backyard football, Johnny Manziel type, Patrick Mahomes type, Aaron Rodgers type. That's all that is, just off script. Now we're down here, one minute left. We just want to milk the clock, man. Make sure he don't get it back with much time at all, you know. Make sure that clock is working for us, not against us. You know, so we just fine with that. You don't really want to score on first or really second. Third is the ideal because now we can we can take at least a majority of his timeouts. And right there, he's in the G. We just gonna QB sneak him. And we up 17-0. And right here, this is very comfortable. A comfortable position to be in. Now, somebody like Joke, like I said, he's a great defensive player. He don't want to play from behind. He don't want to play from behind. It's like off, it's like passers. It's like passers. Passers don't be as comfortable playing up. You know what I'm saying? Because how we going to run the clock out. You know what I'm saying? Or or people who pass a lot. Me, I don't really care that much. I'll run the ball if need be. I, I, I got a little tote in me, but I just don't do it that much. But like I said, he, you want to make joke work hard as possible. This right here is just a good bomb by him. Good play call. Terrible, terrible, terrible user by me. I saw it. As you can see, I ran with it and just stopped. Just stopped. Probably shouldn't have covered three right there with 40 seconds left. But nonetheless, we hold a three. That's a big win. I mean, 17 to three and 17 to seven. Way different ring to it. Way different ring to it. So still in a real good spot here. I am six. Either six and one or five and one this league. I lost the. Tr I'm not gonna say who I lost to because we'll have a video on that. We're gonna have a video. They always got me. Right here, this is good defense. This is really good defense by me. Not really much open. You know, just I'm doing a good job right here, just keeping them off balance. He don't know when I'm blitzing, when I'm playing coverage. I start playing a lot of coverage. Oh, I almost had another throw out of sight in the market square, man. Almost had another one. Right here, this is a good, good user. Good user. Sean Taylor with another yick, but this time it's for six. It's for six. So we just, we really play, we playing good defense right now. We, we playing a lot of good defense. You know, the biggest thing we're doing is keeping him off balance. He don't know what my zones are, what my drops are, anything. And that's the one thing I always say about playing zone. I think, I just think it's way... It's a lot harder to read than man. Man, you know what you're getting. I'm saying when you play in zone and you really adjust them with the zone drops. Before I try to get real lurky there. You adjust them with the zone drops and just playing with the zones, bro. It's just hard. It's so hard to get a beat on because you never know where they're going to be at. The zones can get baity, especially with Acrobat. 
This is just great defense. What a click on by me right there as well. To send them and then click on to them. Really, it really messes people up. This is great defense. Great defense. Great way to send that guy late. Good play call by him. It's a nice play call. That that two hitches in the post is real good. Good defense by me again. Nothing open. Right here, we like I said, we're just making them work. We're just making them work. I'm in that 3-3-5 wide. Them acrobats, them doubling up. It's, it's very hard to go against. Right there, you know, he has nowhere to stuff up in the pocket. Third and 12, we just want to have our dudes back. Play the sticks, you know. Don't give up nothing deep. Fourth and nine. These are just good adjustments. Just another great lurk by me. Mad I didn't go to the crib, but I should have. That's three picks for Sean Taylor. Sean Taylor was my MVP this game. Sean Taylor was my MVP this game. So, and by the way, all of my wins in the Mudhead League, they all have been max point differential. You know, so there's, there's been some... Some dominating game. That's just a hot dot right there by me. As you can see, very efficient game for me. Seven or eight. You know, especially if you have a player of this uh, caliber, it's a it's a real good feeling to have a good game on offense when you're talking about playing against uh, a great defensive player. Good pocket right here. I love having post ups for this reason. I can just sit here and and you know, <coughs> not do much. This is just great pocket. This is just. I mean. That right there easily could have been a sack and a second and three. And that's the difference. AP, power O, get in the end zone, 31-3. Pretty much, that's that's going to be all she wrote. But now, this is what comes into play. I'm up 28. Max PD is 24. So, right here is still something to play for. Especially for him it's still and for me, it's still something to play for. You want to get as many points as possible because you never know how much that's going to come into play later. Right there, that's a third. Troy V, a.k.a. TV, dropping picks, man. But it happens. It happens. So that's a great dot by him. Good read. Good timing because if he throw that second earlier, second later, I'll pick it. So, right there. Good dot by him again. Uh, he, he moved a little bit on this drive. He really did have a <laughs> a good drive, this drive. I, I'm not gonna be, I was going to pick that. I think he was throwing to his running back. I hope he was throwing to his running back. Good dot right there. You see, we're doing good with our user. We've been we've been very unpredictable. He just he's timing it up right. But he threw a, a few other picks early in the game because he was trying to throw it too fast without really having a key on where I'm using it. You, know, you kind of gotta see the user. He didn't really see it. <coughs> So he scored right there. Good, good touchdown to get. You know, now I'm not max PDing him, but now you would think, oh, I should just knee it out. But no, with the max PD being 24, I want to go try to get three because I don't know when it comes to winning my division how much that's gonna come in handy. You know, so you want to really try to go get all the points you can get. As you can see, why I am going to go try to drive the ball. It's real good defense by him. I'm just throwing it away. Trying to get the ball out of there. You know, he switched defenses a lot this game. Oh, wow, Herbert. Then a good pocket after that. Just let CMC hit him, uh, chop him down. That was very fortunate that Herbert broke that, though. I don't know how he broke that, but he did. And that's just a, that's just a dot to Kamara. Kamara is really good at slot. It's really good. And then we take three, kick it to him. You know what I'm saying? Now we're back at that max PD, which is huge. Like I said, that is huge. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it comes into play. Like I said, you don't want to lose a division when you and somebody else got the same record, but you don't own the max PD. You know what I'm saying? It'd be crazy. And that'll do it. That'll do it. So, good game to joke. You know, like I said, thank you to Mudhead for putting this on because it gives guys like me who are not in club championship anymore something to play for and, and give us a reason to play the game. You know, give us something to strive for, you know, something that I can really look towards and get better, which I really appreciate because everybody need, you know, a little push and a drive. So thank y'all for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, 
There's going to be more of these, more of all types of videos, especially gameplay, maybe some tips as well. Peace.